okay hi guys so now I, in this video I want to show you how to draw the centrifugal pump such a simple centrifugal pump diagram okay alright so firstly I will draw the circle over here like this just a small circle around 16 millimeter in radius then by using the offset command I offset the circle like this I enter the value is uh, 15 alright then lastly uh, by using the command circle then I draw the big circle like this so with the radius of 110 ok alright now I want to draw the impeller ok the impeller so this is this is the center of the centrifugal pump now I want to draw the impeller like this ok by using the arc command I will draw the arc over here ok shift right click then select nearest from here then I pick the second point then the third point ok alright now I want to array this ok by using the array command I select the object press center then I choose the polar array then I click to the center over here then press center ok alright so this is the centrifugal pump impeller ok so now I want to adjust the array arrangement I change the item to 10 from 6 to 10 so yes you can see the impeller like this ok alright next I want to draw the circle once again simply by using the offset command I offset the circle like this a little bit larger ok about 60 ok then I move the circle little bit to the right ok little bit to the right and also little bit downward like this ok ok now I want to draw the inlet over here ok simply by using the polyline command I draw the polyline starting from oh no no ok once again I draw the polyline starting from here ok I move closer to the center ok starting here click over here move the cursor to the left click then move downward ok then press enter ok now I want to offset this edge become the blunt edge by using the uh, I'm sorry by using the fillet command I offset uh, I fillet this sharp edge into blunt edge ok I put the radius about uh, about 10 ok I click over here then I click over here ok now I want to offset this line by using the offset command I click over this line then move ok I enter the value 30 then I offset downward offset once again I enter the value is 30 then like this ok alright now I want to draw the small rectangle over here by using the rectangle command ok like this ok I zoom a little bit ok like this then I move the rectangle to the center like this ok alright now I can erase this line so this, this is the inlet to the centrifugal pump ok now I want to draw the outlet over here ok uh, before I forgot I need to draw 
the flange over here suction flange okay i just copy the rectangle over here then i bring to to here okay i bring to here then i by using the comma rotate i rotate this rectangle like this then move little bit to the left oh sorry okay by using the move command i move this rectangle to the left like this okay so this is what we call as suction flange okay by using the trim command i trim this line and this line and press enter okay done okay now i want to draw the outlet over here okay simply by using the line command uh, sorry by using the polyline command i draw the line over here okay by using the shift right click and i select the nearest i draw over here okay i draw over here click then move the cursor upward click then move the cursor to the right okay press enter then by using the fillet command by entering the same radius as the inlet with 30 red 30 millimeter radius i fillet this sharp edge like this okay okay now by using the offset command by entering the value to 30 I offset both of the line like this ok alright then I trim trim over here then here by using the extend command I click over here then I click over here alright then I erase oh no no I not erase this yet I just by using the command copy, the copy command, I copy this rectangle over here. So this is for delivery flange. Yeah. Okay. I put over here. So and then move little bit downward like this. Okay. All right. Now I want to trim this line. Okay. By using the trim command. I trim over here and also over here. Okay. Okay, next. I want to draw the uh, the small chamber over here just by using the rectangle command. Okay, I draw like this. Then move to the center of the outlet. Okay. Alright. Okay very very simple drawing now i trim okay this line and also i erase this line okay all right okay next i want to put the label okay so i want to put the label so by using the text command okay text command alright I put the name over here ok like this I click over here then like this so this is centrifugal pump click to the screen and press escape then move this word little bit to the center like this okay all right so now by using the multi leader command i want to draw the multi leader okay m leader style okay over here click modify uh, okay standard set current click modify okay now i go to the leader format tab 
okay you can see so now i want to adjust the size into fifth or into 20 okay and into 15 let's see okay the size of the arrow here is 15 then leader structure is okay the content we use okay text the text height we put 15 and then click ok then we click close alright now we proceed to labeling like this by using the m leader command i just click over here click then i click over here so now we can put the labeling this is suction flange Okay, alright. Okay, then repeat the same command. We label over here. So this is casing. Casing of the centrifugal pump. Okay. Alright. The next is eye of impeller. Okay. The eye of the impeller. Okay. Then I want to label the impeller. Okay, impeller. Repeat the same command. I label the impeller like this. Impeller. Oh, sorry. Alright. Impeller, the function of the impeller is to is to force the liquid or fluid that flows into this centrifugal pump outward. So, the direction of rotation is counterclockwise like this. Okay. So, when the fluid enters the centrifugal pump, this impeller will rotate then push the fluid upward into this chamber okay all right so next i want to label this to so this is what we call as delivery flange okay delivery flange Alright, so then over here, this is suction pipe or inlet. Then this delivery pipe. Okay delivery pipe oh then i forgot over here we, here should be the okay we trim first we trim this line okay over here there should be the pressure gauge okay so pressure gauge i just label over here i just draw the the gauge circle simple circle like this alright so this is the gauge alright ok pressure gauge ok alright so thanks for watching my simple video so don't forget to follow my youtube channel follow my facebook page nf design and engineering and follow my website www.nfdesignengineering.com so all the best goodbye